I'm going to be fairly brief and just make a few remarks. Um, first of all, on behalf of uh, St. Louis University, I want to welcome you to uh, what we consider to be a very special day here at the university. And uh, it's almost as special as last night was uh, when we elected the 33rd president of this university and won that basketball game. You know, 16 points down with eight minutes to go. Uh, that was almost as exciting, Fred, as electing you, but not quite, not quite. <laughs> uh, anyway, we did have a special board meeting last night. Uh, the board voted to appoint Dr. Fred Pistello as the 33rd president of St. Louis University. Fred will start his presidency on July the 1st. Um, as I said, when we started the search, um, I communicated to the entire university committee that selecting the next president of this university is probably the most important thing that any of us would ever do during our tenure as uh, a member of the Board of Trustees. I'm pleased to report today that I think we've done, a, this, this sounds like bragging, but I think we've selected an outstanding, excellent candidate to run this university going forward. Uh, you've got a copy of Fred's CV, but I wanted to lay out just three reasons why we felt that he was the right person for this job. First, he is Jesuit ed educated, has a deep understanding of St. Louis University's Catholic Jesuit mission. He has spent his entire career in Catholic higher education, 30 years in Catholic higher education. He's currently the president of Lemoyne College, a Jesuit institution in Syracuse, New York. And before that, he served for 24 years with Dayton University, and his final position there was provost of Dayton University. So he has a background with equal complexity, eh, maybe not quite as complex, but a very complex organization in Dayton, a competitor, and again, a fine Catholic school. Our second reason is proven track record. As you know, we've done this search uh, and it's been over an extended period of time. His career path shows that he has accepted increasing responsibilities in his positions throughout his career and has always risen to the task and moved his institutions forward. His six years at Lemoyne are by any measure um, that we could put in place to gauge his performance, he is a success at everything he undertook at Lemoyne. The third reason is one of leadership. He is results oriented. I think he is a natural leader. He's demonstrated that throughout his career. He is very collaborative and he has a very clear understanding of shared governance. I think you'll find also that Fred is an outstanding communicator. Um, he was the unanimous choice of our search committee, uh, which was constituted by faculty, student, um, trustees, and administration. Um, he was totally, he was selected uh, unanimously by the selection committee, and the board last night um, totally voted in favor of Fred becoming the next president. I don't think there's much more I want to say here. Uh, let me see if there's anything in my notes. I, you know, um, I just think that you know, we have found the right person for the right time. I think it is interesting that uh, this is not Fred's first foray into new territory. When he joined Lemoyne College, he was the first lay president of Lemoyne. So this is kind of like his second time around as a, a lay president leading a Catholic Jesuit institution. And again, that bodes well uh, from the point of view of his experience of transitioning into a Jesuit-led university uh, as the first lay president. Um, you know, my feeling is that we have the right person for the right job. All of our 115,000 living alumni in this area uh, I think Fred will get engaged with, one by one. No, not, not really. Uh, but I, th I think you'll find it would be very engaging and will become very active in this community. And I, there is no question of his commitment and desire to drive this university forward. 
I'd like to introduce Fred Pistello, the 33rd president of St. Louis University. Fred.